Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we start, I just want to say thanks to everyone who checked out my last video. There were 10,500 views and all kinds of cool comments, which is just nuts for a small channel like mine. It was cool to hear some of the different spot suggestions you guys gave, and you even taught me one, which I'm definitely going to show in an upcoming video. Anyway, today we're going to talk about traps, the correct way to place them, and a few very effective spots around the map to catch other players off guard. Also a few rules that I set for the video. 1. The trap has to work consistently. There have to be multiple games that I can show with a trap in the same location killing players. 2. And probably the most important, you have to be able to hold or play off of the trap's kill. A guy dying somewhere in the compound while you're sitting in a building isn't really helpful to the overall objective of killing the entire team especially when the team is just allowed to res him and recover. And three was that I needed to catch it on film. A death stream from 10 or 20 meters away doesn't really make for great content. We actually want to watch him fall over. And I adhere to that mostly throughout the video. So let's get into it. First, we're going to talk about how you should be placing the traps based on the assumed direction of the runner. I'm going to show you an example of me running into these sets of traps in two different ways, and it's going to be apparent which one is more effective. This was poison first, and this was about 100 10 or 20 damage. And you can see here that Concertina first and Gully kills me, so this is definitely the correct way to place them. And now I'll show you jump over spots like broken fences or windows. This is the straight setup. And this is the X setup. X configuration being the clear winner. And now what you've all been waiting for, the sneaky spots. The first spot we're going to look at is the Lock Bay Docks Land Bridge. This spot is really good for catching teams traveling between the north and south parts of the map. Obviously it always depends on the map closure leading to the boss, but it's a path that's very frequently traveled. hit that trap in the bush, which gives me some time to recover after that close call. <laughs> it might be hard to see in the fog, but this is an angle from the north side holding a body that I caught in a trap. I'm not going to show you where I was holding the body from just yet. That's a surprise for my next video. Let me know in the comments if you know where I'm sitting. If you don't feel safe holding the bodies right next to the bridge, you can also sit down the river a bit, so you are more exposed, so you need to know where the teams are. And don't mind this audio bug right here. The next spot we're going is Darrow Livestock, specifically both the window and fence jump over entrances from the south side. This trap is just a slaughterhouse.
Don't do it. Sir. Ow. <laughs> In this game, we lost, but I still got him. And this game was just comedy because of all the mistakes that were made just because this one guy died in his trap. What the f is happening? Bro, tell me they're all dead, please. I think they're all dead. Back in white. Yeah, I know. The first one died. The second one got stuck and died. And then the third one got stuck in a corner and died. <laughs> Three people essentially died in that trap. Now we're heading over to Moses Poultry. You already know that the ruin structure here can be pretty deadly, but if you pair it with traps on the bridge and the supply stations that spawn here, you can get some nasty kills. I actually screwed up the clip capture here, but this player went to Rez's buddy and he got headshot too. I died to their third, but we won't talk about that. Next let's look at the Cypress Huts Bridge. These traps are great for teams that are moving west into Cypress, or even teams that are heading to the Cypress Water Extract. It's also hard to explain why so few people can see them. My feeling is that they don't have their gamma turned up and the covered bridges are fairly dark for them. Turn your gamma up to 140, it'll change your life.
loop was super dark, but I did my best to try to brighten it up a little bit. This clip right here is probably one of my most favorite that I've ever gotten. Seeing them dying in sync like that, you just can't pay for that kind of clip. I'm not showing the extended fights that I got into with the surviving enemies because they're not really the point of the video. Some of them I won, some of them I lost, but I think I've proven that this can be a great place to ambush a team. spot I'm going to bring you to today is the broken wall in the southeast corner of Pearl Plantation. This trap is especially strong when that eastern water extract is right next to it. Everyone leaves out of this wall to get to that extract and there's a good amount of shrubbery that hides the trap. You'll see that they'll try to leave out of this wall even when the boss wasn't at Pearl Plantation. Not a trap kill there, but I wanted to get some context to this fight. One skull for my teammate, who I also caught and killed in that wall. I'm kind of breaking the rules on this clip right here. This fight was way too crazy for me to capture this guy falling over, and I was getting messed up. But here's the body anyway. And that does it for all of our trap spots today. I hope you're able to use them in your games to get more kills. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the other guides in this series, and if you would, please consider subscribing to help me make more videos like this in the future. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.